Most employees looking at data don't get access to the real table, but they get access to the view. This is because we'd like to add a level of security to the system. So we create views that access the table and then we give the users access to the views. Now, take a look at my actual table up here. It's got employee, department, last name, first name, and salary. What do you think the one column that every other employee wants to see? The salary, what everybody's making. So what we're going to do is create a view. Here's the syntax. Create view, I called it employee V, as select employee number, first name, last name, department, from employee table. Now, when people access and query the view, it didn't double the data. It just acts as a filter that says they can't see the salary. And that's the idea behind a view. Here's a couple rules to creating views that I want you to understand. First of all, rule number one, when you create the view, you don't put an order by statement in it. Secondly, if you have a view with aggregation, sum, average, max, min, or count, then you're going to have to give those columns a direct alias. And lastly, if you have any derived columns, such as math, salary divided by 12, anything that's a calculation or a derived column, you're going to come up with another alias for that. Those are your three rules. Let's take a look at them in effect. First of all, we create the view department salaries as, select the department number. We don't have to give that an alias because it's not an aggregate or calculation. It's an actual column. And then we say, I want to sum the salary as sum sal. That's an aggregation, needs an alias column name. Sum the salary divided by 12. Now we're actually combining both the aggregation and some derived portion of that. That's also going to need some type of alias there, and now the view is created. Now what's interesting about this is there's a big reason you don't put an order by in the create statement of a view because as you can see over here when we select everything from department salaries, order by one, it is then when we order the data. And those are the rules I want you to follow when you're creating these views. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.